it took around five minutes from the plane till the taxis. Welcome to Suvornabumi Airport, guys. Good morning guys, good morning from Suvarnabhumi Airport. I just arrived from south of Thailand, a domestic flight, and that's the best feeling once you arrive to Suvarnabhumi Airport. Why? Because you can walk from the plane till you take the taxis without doing anything. You just claim your baggage, no passport, no immigration. And as I said at the beginning of the vlog that it took five minutes walking from the plane till the taxis. Now let me tell you what is it about today's vlog. So my friends, in today's vlog I'm going to talk about the latest updates if you are visiting Thailand soon and moreover tell you why to visit Thailand now and why not to visit. So it will be very interesting and informative vlog. First of all, let's go inside the airport because it's super hot outside and tell you about the updates. If you are traveling from Suvarnabhumi Airport, you should come at least before three hours because it's super busy. First of all, let's go to the fourth floor, departures floor and check if the airport is really busy or not. So here we are, this is the departures floor, the fourth floor and you can see how crowded and busy is the airport. Now it's around 12.30, midday, and check this out guys, the queue for check-in. So this is the story. If you are traveling from Suvarnabhumi Airport, you have to come at least three to four hours so that you won't miss your flight. I'm gonna show you a little bit around. This is the part for international departures. And from the pictures, you can see how busy is the airport. So guys, as you can see, the airport is super busy. So if you are traveling from Suvarnabhumi Airport, the queue is so long, come before at least three to four hours so that you can check in without any problems. Next week I'm traveling from this airport. I'm going to take my Easter vacation. So I'm gonna experience this by myself and tell you if it's really needed to be here before two, three or four hours. This was about the airport. How busy is the airport these days? Now let's talk about the second point. Now the second thing that we are going to talk about is the 45 days visa exemption once you arrive to Thailand. Now if you want to know if your country is eligible for that, check it online. So the question is that will this visa stay till the end of this year because before it was 30 days, now it's 45 days. Officially it's till the end of this month, 31 March. But there are serious talks that can stay till the end of this year. So we will talk about the updates once it's confirmed. But nowadays, if you are traveling to Thailand and if you are from the eligible countries visa exemption, then you are getting 45 days stamp once you arrive to Thailand. Now the third thing that I'm going to talk about today is that the immigration is so serious these days about the visa types and overstays. So my advice to you, never ever overstay. If you want to extend your visa, I've made a vlog previously, you can watch it and know how many days you can extend your visa according to the type of the visa that you have on your passport. So be careful guys, don't overstay. These days there are many news that overstay problems and the immigration is too serious. Music 
if you are going to Phuket, you should behave. Unless you are going to get a yellow card if you behave badly or overstay and at the second time you are going to get a red card. It's not a football game. This is Phuket these days. You should be a good boy or a good girl in order to survive your vacation in Phuket. So this was along the way. It's fun and it's real. Let's talk about now why you should visit or not visit Thailand these days. The first thing that you should know if you are coming to Thailand for a vacation these days that the weather is super hot. Now we are entering the hottest season in Thailand. So if you love the hot weather, come and enjoy your vacation. But if you don't, then I'm telling you guys, this is a super hot season in Thailand till the end of May. So be careful. This is the hot season. Check the weather. And if you like it, then come and enjoy your vacation. Now the weather is hot, yes, but there are some advantages for this weather because the Songkram festival is soon and if you are visiting Thailand in April, then you are going to enjoy all the festivals, the water festivals. I'm gonna cover up some of them. So if you are visiting Thailand, then be ready to celebrate Songkram festivals. The third reason to visit Thailand these days is the cheap domestic airlines. As you know, today I came back from south of Thailand, exactly from Nakhon Sitamarat, and my flight was about 900 baht one way and around 2,200 baht two way. So the domestic flights are so cheap these days in Thailand and if you are coming and visiting Thailand, then you are going to enjoy lots of domestic flights if you want to explore around Thailand. Keep that in mind. This is it. This is the time to book cheap domestic flights. Another point guys, if you are visiting Thailand these days, the exchange rates are great. But be careful, don't exchange it from the airport, especially from the first floor or from the arrival floors. Go to the base floor, the rates are better there. But if you want better rates, then exchange it once you go out from the airport. I have made an entire vlog where to exchange money. You can check it on my YouTube channel. So those were some positive points to visit Thailand these days. I know it's super noisy, too many announcements. This is the airport. Now let's talk about some points you might think twice before you come to Thailand or think about visiting Thailand these days. The first thing guys, the international flights are expensive these days because as you know, it's high season. As I said, it's Songkran festival soon and lots of people love to come and enjoy the festivals in Thailand. So usually these days, the international flights are expensive, not like the domestic flights. So take that into consideration. If you are coming to Thailand, then you are going to pay high prices to buy your international flights. Now the second thing is about the weather. As I said, it's super hot, but also the air quality is not good. So if you are coming to Thailand these days, many people are using the mask, not because of the COVID, because the air quality, especially in Bangkok. Another thing guys, if you are visiting Thailand these days, wherever you go, it's super crowded. The markets, the malls, the nightlife, wherever you go, 
too many people too much tourists it's high season so if you love this atmosphere then this is the time but if you want a little bit much calmer then you should visit Thailand when the rainy season starts So my friends, those were the latest updates from Suvarnabhumi Airport. If you are visiting to Thailand now, you know what are the reasons to visit now and what are some of the reasons you might think twice before traveling to Thailand. Now it's time for me to take the public transportation and go back to my condo. And as I said, next week I'm traveling and I'm taking my vacation, my Easter vacation. I'm gonna tell you everything will happen with me at this airport before my departure so that you will know exactly what to do before your departure. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.